I'm joined once again by Trooper Anthony Petrosky. He is a public information officer with the Pennsylvania State Police Troop and in Hazleton. Internet safety, social media safety, there's a lot of things for parents to be worried about. We want to make sure everyone's safe. How big of a problem is this? It's a huge problem because everybody has the internet. I mean, everybody has, regardless of your age, um, you know, the mobile devices, the tablets, the iPads, things like that. Um, and you're instantly connected to an entirely different world where you can have a huge amount of people um, at, your ever, at your ever calling. Um, it's very easy to get information out there quickly to a large amount of people. So what should parents be doing? I mean, children that they're not even of age to have a Facebook account or on Facebook or they're on the Internet, maybe they're not supervised. How can parents be sure their children are safe? Well, years ago, the family computer used to be in the family room, so everybody would see what you're doing. But now it's obviously a lot different with wireless Internet. Um, so things you could do, there's settings on your phone. Okay, and, and your devices to where you can put on like child settings. Um, also, messages or anything sent over the internet can be sent to a parent's device to let them know uh, what they're using. Um, you could put restrictions on certain social media sites, Facebook, things like that, where you actually have to be 13 years or older to have a Facebook account. So there actually are some security settings on these social media sites. But again, they could easily be monitored. And if you go into the settings, you could adjust them accordingly to what information you could have, um, what information you could see. And most social media sites should be protected. And what that means is not everybody can see your information that you put out there unless you accept them as a friend. And you should only be accepting them if you know them. Well, another thing to take into consideration is video games because it used to be you plopped a game in and you just played right there with the people in your family. Right. Now you can play with somebody in another country. So, uh, you know, how scary is this? It, you know, it, it, is, it is a little scary if it's used in a negative way. You know, now you could actually talk to people while you're playing these games. Um, you know, and unfortunately, we've had some violence come from these things, you know, mm -hmm. some threats, things like that. Um, so you, you have to be smart with it. You have to know who you're talking to, who you're dealing with, and just make good decisions when you're using these video games. Now, I know the state police takes information out to the community. You're always speaking for groups. Maybe there's a PTA, a parent group, a church group that wants to know more about this. Can they contact you? Absolutely. And myself and Trooper Peters, we do um, social media and Internet safety for parents specifically. It's a presentation we do. We also go over social media for kids uh, to let them know what to look for and things like that to ensure that they're safe. But, yeah, they can reach us at the Hazelden Barracks. Just ask for the community services unit. We'd be more than happy to help out. Well, this is vital information in this day and age, and if your children are on the Internet or on social media, the best way to do it is safely and to get it from the experts so you know that they are not being contacted by someone they should not be contacted by. Absolutely, and if there is anything in question, they could always contact us. The Pennsylvania State Police specifically has a computer crimes unit who specialize in computer crimes, and they could download devices and things like that. So they're experts in this, and we could always reach out to them for, for guidance. Great advice from the Pennsylvania State Police trying to keep you safe always.